Hello guys, my name is Kiki and in this video we are going to work on my Xbox One S. I bought this as a faulty roughly one year ago. When I received it I turned it on and I get just I just got the white light of death, which means that the that it powered on basically perfectly. The white light turned on but it was not showing any signal on the TV. So I thought, okay, this will be a simple one. I will just order a retimer chip for this, an HDMI retimer chip, because this is the most common fault, uh, which is causing the white light of test problem. So I received uh, uh, this IC, I took it apart, and then I realized that there are really strange uh, noises are coming from the hard drive itself. So what I did, I had a... 500 gigabyte uh, HDD here and I uh, I thought I will give it a go and I will replace it. I installed uh, an, an OS, an operating system on it, an Xbox operating system on it and it just turned on, on perfectly. So my problem was solved. And now after a year, last week I tried to turn it on and I had the same exact issue. White light of test, no signal on the TV. So I assume this time really the retimer chip will be the problem, but let's figure it out. At, at first, let me show you the, the fault itself. I will turn it on. As you can see, I have the white light on. The HDD is now is running, spinning perfectly. And let me switch over to the capture card. And as you can see, there is nothing, no signal. Let's wait a little bit, but there is no signal. I already tried it on my uh, TV and it does not work. So let me turn it off and let's take it apart. Let's try to find a failure. Okay guys, so as most probably you could see removing the X clamp was a quite a fight. I know that uh, you can buy X clamp remover tools, but I don't have one. I do not really work on Xboxes, so I, di I did not bought one. So let's switch over to the, to the microscope and let's look at and closer. Okay, so here you can see the HDMI port. I would say it's pretty much perfect. There are no loose pins as I expected. I always take care how to use the HDMI cable and I never broke one. So let's go further. As you can see here we have these eight lines. 
going from the HDMI port to these small uh, EMI filters. These are quite similar like on the PS4s or basically it serves the same function like the the filters on the uh, on the Nintendo switches but those are only two and two lines parallel. This is the only difference basically. Other than that they are quite similar. So let's measure these filters if they are fine. You have to have continuity in this direction, it's okay, but no across. So this last one is fine. And the right one is the other one. To be honest, I have never seen one failing on on uh, Xbox. So, and if we follow these lines, then you can see. Um, just a second, I will rotate it for 45 degrees. Then you can see it better. So these are the lines. If we follow these lines. We will see the the retimer IC, the HDMI retimer IC. This is responsible for for syncing of the signals, things like this on the HDMI lines. So I will now remove this because I'm quite confident this is the problem because now the HDD is new. And I haven't used this more than two or three times in the last year, so I'm I'm pretty sure now we have a problem with this small small uh, retimer IC. So let me remove it with, with hot air. I will add some flux. Okay, so as you could see, I added way more solder than it needed, so I suffered a little bit while removing it. But I think now it's pretty much perfect. Okay, so here we have Noah. I think perfectly soldered IC. So let's put it together and let's see if it works.
Okay guys, so I just put it together just enough for testing. I did not screw down anything yet. Let's connect up. Turn it on. Okay, it's turning on. We have a white light. And let's switch over to to the video capture device. And it works. We have a picture. Great. Let's see if it boots up and then I will check in the settings if we can see all the resolutions. I mean full HD. On this monitor I cannot test 4K and also my capture card is only able to transmit a full HD picture. Okay, so we are in the settings. Let's go to TV and display options and resolution 1080p. Great. Okay, guys, so that's it for this video. I will put it fully together off camera. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to, subscribe to my channel and I hope I see you next time. Bye!